It's the Jubilee Sizzler Sale at Western Auto. There are sizzlers all over the store. Rakes, ice cream scoops, charcoal briquettes, gardening shears. Wait a minute. Western Auto? Where's the auto stuff? Western Auto was much more than auto stuff. In this little trip into the past, we are going to step into a Western Auto store in middle-century Middle America and go shopping. Well, over here we see the gardening theme continued. It must be spring. Just checking back to the front of this catalog, I see that the Jubilee Sizzler sale ends May 19. So yes, it is spring. We see that a lot of this stuff is branded Wizard. That was one of Western Auto's store brands that they used on all kinds of seemingly unrelated things, from hoses to batteries. Some of the pages in this catalog are color. And here on the glorious green lawn are nine different Wizard lawnmowers to choose from. At Western Auto, this guy over here, let's call him Clarence, well, no, he's kind of more of a Fred, I think. Fred's already picked out his wizard mower, and he can't wait to get it back home and show that lawn who's boss. And show those neighbors just who got a brand new lawn mower. And the lawn frenzy continues over here. It says, Here are four reasons why wizard is your best rider mower value. Classic ad copy. Four reasons why. That sort of thing became a kind of cliché in advertising copy eventually. But compared to the purely image and status-driven hucksterism that dominates today, it is refreshing. And here's furniture at Western Auto, outdoor and even indoor. Genuine California redwood, not that imitation redwood from some other state. And now, wizard barbecue grills, of course. And straying still further from what you might think a store called Western Auto would be selling, here's a movie camera and projector outfit, right next to the lighter fluid, and more picnic supplies. And sporting goods, running the gamut from swing sets to baseball gloves. Look at these happy kids. Man, they paid artists to do ads back in those days. Even flyers like this, that were literally throwaway items, had original art in them. Compare that to the stock photos that pass for creativity in so many places these days. The Western Flyer was another one of Western Auto's brands, for bicycles, of course, and tricycles and wagons, too. They sold lots of bike accessories, I'm sure plenty more than are shown here, like tires and such. And there are strollers for baby. Now, outboard motors and fishing rods and reels and tackle really seems to stretch credulity for what a store like this can carry. You just never see such a wide range of things these days sold in a single store. I guess Walmart does that. I guess. I don't know. Walmart always looks so desperate, so sad, you know. Like there was a race to the bottom, and it won. Western Auto looks fun, like an adventure. And it's tools for the do-it-yourselfer. Saws, wrenches, socket sets. I don't think my father even owned a socket set back then. But there they were, at Western Auto. And you can get yours with no down payment. And over here are power tools, of course. And air conditioners, and fans for the home. There are a couple of what they call coolers here as well, what are known as evaporative air coolers, or more colorfully, swamp coolers. They're humidifiers, basically. They only provide a sense of cooling the air in dry climates. Wizard paints for lasting beauty. House paint, and brushes, and ladders, and all you need. Some of these paints are oil-based, some are latex, or what they call here rubber base. Well, latex is rubber, and there are home electrical items such as sockets and switches, and even Romex electric cable. For 48 cents, they'll even sell you the book Wiring Simplified. 
And now, all of a sudden, here's the stuff I've been expecting. Auto parts and supplies. Shock absorbers, brake shoes, oils and fluids and mufflers and spark plugs. For $4.44, they'll sell you a Wizard brand rebuilt carburetor that fits most 1949-53 to Ford V8s. Similar savings for other popular cars. And seat covers. Ah, there's a perfectly practical concept you don't see much anymore. I like the plaid. It says it's made out of denim. Sounds comfy. And tough, too, I'll bet. There are plenty more accessories and car care products here. Down at the bottom is a station wagon mattress. It says, let the kids sleep while you drive. And floor mats to give your car that showroom new look. The chamois here for $2.33 is advertised as imported full skin. I'll bet some of you younger viewers don't even know what that is. Here's a hint. It says it is oil tanned. Now you must have known that sooner or later we were going to get to tires. And here we are. Davis brand tires. They're white walls, of course. The only cars with black wall tires in those days belonged to government agencies. So if you came home and there was a strange car in the driveway with black wall tires, that would make Dad very nervous. There were three grades of Davis tires you could buy. It would be just too easy to call them good, better, and best. So the good ones are called Davis Silent Sentry, and the better ones Safety Sentry. And the top-of-the-line ones are called premium sentry. And by the way, none of these sentries are radial tires. They're all what was called bias ply tires. Now here are the black walls. For trucks and government agents, of course. And they're cheap. The sentry name is dispensed with, and what you get are wear-well tires for this price. And the ones in the middle... The new tread tires are quite literally retreads, old worn tires that have new rubber tread somehow stuck onto them. How do they do this? I don't really know. This is still done, though, usually for larger trucks. When you look off to the side of the freeway and you see a big black rubber cheese curl lying there, that's a retread, or what's left of it. Wizard Silver Cobalt Vehicle Batteries and the Lesser Wizard Champ brand. Tools to keep your car's electrical system in tip-top shape. And a replacement sealed beam headlight. Fits basically every car on the road. Televisions? Televisions! Yes, televisions. Western Auto put the True Tone brand on all the electronic entertainment items they sold, and they sold a lot of them. Stereos, record players, clock radios, and the must-have consumer item of the decade, the transistor radio. They'd even sell you a wizard battery to go in it. In the beginning of the transistor radio era, 1955 and 56, four retailers were first to see the potential and offer their own store-brand transistor radios. Montgomery Ward was one of those, offering their airline brand, and Sears offered their Silvertone brand. Firestone, of all people, were one of these first retailers, and Western Auto, offering their True Tone brand of transistor radios, was one of these four retailing pioneers. Now this is just too much. Washers and dryers, really, and water heaters, and stoves. Talk about one-stop shopping. I don't know, were we talking about one-stop shopping? Oh, check out the semi-automatic washer. It didn't have spin-dry, but instead, after you drained your washed clothes... You fed each piece through these rollers, known as the ringer. That's how my mother spent every wash day, standing there feeding those rollers before taking the clothes out to hang on the line. And if she was really exhausted after a day's worth of doing that, she'd say, I feel like I've been through the ringer. Well, I suppose you are not surprised to see refrigerators and freezers here. Well, I am. I just can't get over the immense variety of stuff this store sold. Wizard refrigerators. 
It says here they come with a $200 food protection plan. I can guess what that is, and I guess you can too. And here we are in the housewares department, rounding out the huge variety of stuff you find at a Western Auto store. Can openers, glassware, pots and pans, tea kettles, brooms, electric frying pans, and waffle irons. And here's the Mother's Day special. Thrill Mom with a 16-piece ceramic starter set of lovely dinnerware. And the back page, the back cover of this mailer. And the front page you see to the right, these are the two most important pages where they are going to put their hottest items. A transistor radio, a typewriter. It doesn't say what brand is on that typewriter, but it does say it comes in a Morocco vinyl carrying case. Morocco vinyl! And here are those bike tires and lighter fluid and a Wizard brand hair dryer for getting that salon look right at home. That's the flyer, full of an amazing variety of things. But Western Auto had still more to offer, as seen here in this other flyer. Guitars and amplifiers to help America fend off that British invasion. It's obviously a great store. But what happened to Western Auto. Why aren't they still around? Well, when a store fails, it is assumed that it wasn't meeting the needs of its community. But when an entire chain of stores fails, there's something else afoot. It's called financial manipulation. In the 1980s, Western Auto's management took the company into that Wall Street world of acquisitions, mergers, spin-offs, leveraged buyouts, and restructuring. They were told, and like so many, they believed, that these financial dealings are inevitable, that they are healthy, and that these deals must be done. They are told this by the very people, the money people, who profit by these deals. That's how these financiers make their money, not by producing something of value, but by churning money. What happens to regular people caught in that meat grinder of restructuring is rarely considered. But what to my mind is even worse, and never mentioned, is what that consolidation does to the rest of us, to all of us, the public. The public who used to have the choice of going to a fun and interesting place like Western Auto. The public from whom that choice was taken away as a result of Western Auto being sliced, diced, and eventually discarded. Oh, sure, I get it. Things change. People shop elsewhere. Companies decline and fail. But think of the stores that aren't here anymore. All those choices you no longer have. Did these companies die, or were they snuffed by the money people for their own gain? The great department stores like the Broadway, Hudson's, Robinson's, the May Company, Bullock's, Buffum's, Marshall Fields, and dozens and dozens more. They're all this now. I guess we should be grateful Macy still exists and hasn't been swallowed up yet by this. Or this. Think of the great choices we used to have in home improvement. Lumber City, Angels, Ole, Standard Brands, Builders Emporium, not to mention scads of independent lumber yards where you could talk to salespeople who actually knew stuff. Now it's this. Or this. We talk about the mom-and-pop stores and protecting them from the predatory practices of their corporate competitors. And that's good. I am all for the mom-and-pops. But the likes of Western Auto and all those other sorely missed stores were not mom-and-pops. Sadly for them, and for all of us, they were big enough to attract the money people, to make it worth their while. And now those stores are no more. What do we have to do to put a stop to this? Occupy Wall Street? And right now, even as I speak these words, American stalwarts Sears and J.C. Penney are being picked apart by these money sharks, giving us even fewer choices. I was always told that capitalism was supposed to be about giving people more choice, not less. Sadly missed. Western Auto out of Kansas City, Missouri. Founded in 1909, they once had 1,200 stores across the United States.